righty. It's bunted down the third baseline, rolling on the dirt. This is going to stay fair, and it comes to a dead stop about two-thirds of the way down the line. Aiken deadened that one perfectly and gets the bunt base hit. Bearing on the playoffs, the pitch is lined into center field. That's down a base hit, and Burlington takes a 1-0 lead on an unearned run. They'll be happy about that with the lumber pitch home. Swung on, driven out the right center field. This ball is down and into the gap. Alvarez off to the races. He's going to hit the bag at third and try to score. The throw from the outfield bounces in. Alvarez is safe and we're tied at one. Jose Godoy delivers the double into right center field. Go ahead, run is standing at second. And the drive into left center is a base hit. Chiefs will take a two to one lead. The throw comes back into second base and Sils is safe there. Nick Fry delivers. This one's driven out the left field. Aiken makes the catch. Chiefs win two to one and might be division champs if that score stays the same in Kane County. Chiefs win, sweep the bees. What a way to end the half. A run in the seventh, a run in the eighth, and a 2-1 winner, and a catch in left by Aiken. Chiefs win 2-1. Now let's see if King County can hold on and make the Chiefs division champions with home field advantage. Fred Kupiak's gonna have the post-game show after this on Peoria Chiefs or Radio Network.